Okay, so the U.S. stock market has been taking a tumble lately, and a lot of my friends have been calling me up to get my opinion about it, because I'm the money guy, and I pay attention to this sort of stuff. There's something about the market that you should really know, and it's best explained by talking about a situation that we had down in Costa Rica. My wife and I used to go to this, this farmer's market in uh, Paraiso, and at this farmer's market, you had people that sold watermelons, you had people that sold lemons, tomatoes, trees, eggs, meat. It didn't matter. There were lots and lots of things at this farmer's market for sale. And the prices of these things, they went up and down and up and down. And you would go there week after week after week, and you would watch the prices of this stuff fluctuate. And the fact of the matter is, is some people were going to buy this stuff no matter what. And some people were in the market for one specific thing, and other people were in the market for another specific thing. Like, sometimes I, I was a big buyer of tomatoes, and a small buyer of beets. Something else interesting happened there, and that was reselling. See, the, the farmers would show up in their huge trucks, and they would unload all of this produce to smaller people who would then resell it amongst themselves for a profit, or possibly a loss. That's kind of the way the stock market works too, because you have these big companies and they go to the stock market and they sell their, they, they sell their shares to the general public once. And then after that, all of the rest of the stuff that happens is called trading. And the reason it's called trading is because the company itself doesn't make any money off of that. It's just people speculating, do they think it's going to go up? Do they think it's going to go down? Nobody has a crystal ball. Not even the talking heads on CNN. They don't have a crystal ball either. And so what we have here is a situation where there's a whole lot of people who are buying and selling based entirely on what they think is going to happen. Not dissimilar to the farmer's market, where people are buying and selling based on what they think the price is going to be in the future, or what they think they can get for it in a different location. Now, something else interesting happened at the farmer's market, and that was that some people were really informed, they were really savvy, they knew what the price was supposed to be, and they wouldn't pay a dime more than it was worth. Whereas other people were really dumb, they were tourists, they didn't even know what the money was worth, and they would overpay and overpay. And it's the same at the stock market. Some people are willing to pay more, and some are willing to pay less for any given thing. Now there's a really interesting, there's a really interesting aspect of humanity here that we, should, we need to talk about, and that's that people tend to think that when things are going good, they're going to keep going good, and when things are going bad, they're going to keep on going bad. So when stuff is going up, people are willing to pay more because they think, oh, I want to get involved in something that's going up. And when everything's going down and everything's crashing, everybody thinks, I want to get out of this, so I'm willing to sell for any amount of money just to get out of this crashing thing. And so we have a situation where when stuff is going up, it continues going up, until it has gone up to an unreasonable amount. And when things are going down, they continue to go down until they have gone down to an unreasonable amount. And then they kind of go back to normal. And that's why you have all this wiggling. So, I was at Neiman Marcus the other day, and I saw that there was this, this shirt that I liked. It was about 675 bucks. Now, if I was to buy that shirt, I would pay Neiman Marcus $675, and Neiman Marcus would get $675 from me once. I could then sell that shirt on eBay for more and make a little money, or I could sell it on eBay for less and lose some money. Or I could donate it to the Salvation Army, or I could take it down to Goodwill, or I could sell it at a yard sale or a garage sale, whatever. I could sell it to anybody for any reason. It belongs to me now. Shares of stock are very similar to that. Once you own it, it's yours. And so you can buy it or sell it, and you can make a profit or a loss, or you can draw and it really doesn't matter, and it doesn't affect the company at all. So people think, oh, the stock market's going down, the economy must be crashing. The fact is that the stock market going down has nothing to do with the companies themselves. The companies themselves still have the same amount of money. Their bank accounts do not go down just because the value of their stock goes down. It's not connected. And since more people in the United States own cats than own stock, it really doesn't affect America nearly as much as CNN makes it appear that it does. You are more concerned about the price of kitty kibble, statistically, than you are about the way that the Dow Jones Industrial Average is going. So please stop calling me. It's going to be okay. That's what I got for today.